we're going to show that these three polynomials form a basis for the vector space P2, the vector space of polynomials of degree at most 2. By definition, to show that these three polynomials form a basis, we'll need to show that they are a linearly independent set of polynomials and that together they span this space. Links in the description to lessons introducing these topics if you need to review. Beginning with linear independence, we'll show that these three polynomials are linearly independent in the usual way. We consider an arbitrary linear combination of the three polynomials and we must show that this equals zero only when all three of these coefficients are zero. So for the vectors, or polynomials in this case, to be linearly independent, the only solution to this equation should be the trivial solution. By equating the degree coefficients on the left and right, we get three equations. For example, how much x squared do we have on the right? Well, we have no x squared. How many x squareds do we have on the left? We have c1x squared plus c2x squared. Hence, c1 plus c2 must equal 0. How much of x do we have on the right? We have no x on the right. What about on the left? On the left, we have 3c3 times x. So 3c3 must equal 0. By equating constants, we get the third equation. So we need to check if this homogeneous linear system has only the trivial solution or not. There are two ways to do that. One way is to take the coefficient matrix and then use Gauss-Jordan elimination to get it into reduced row echelon form. If you get the identity, like we do in this case, that tells us there is one solution to this system and it is the trivial solution, C1 equals zero, C2 equals zero, and C3 equals zero. Hence, the polynomials, those vectors, are linearly independent. The other way is to just calculate the determinant of the coefficient matrix. If you get a non-zero number, in this case we would get 18, which is non-zero, that also lets us conclude that this system has only the trivial solution, and so again, these polynomials are linearly independent. Okay, so we've got a linearly independent set of vectors in this space of polynomials. Now we need to show that they span the space, and that will be sufficient to show that it's a basis. To show our three polynomials span the space, we have to take an arbitrary polynomial from the space and show that it can be written as a linear combination of our three polynomials. And this process is actually the same as what we just did. Again, by equating coefficients on the left and right side of the equation, we get this system of three equations. c1 plus c2 equals a, the coefficients of x squared, and so on for the other two equations. Then the question is simply, is this system consistent no matter what a, b, and c are? And we can determine if this system is always consistent by performing Gauss-Jordan elimination on the coefficient matrix. Notice it's the same exact coefficient matrix as the one that we just had. And if we perform Gauss-Jordan elimination on this, we get the identity matrix as its reduced row echelon form. Hence, no matter what A, B, and C are, we could perform Gauss-Jordan elimination to arrive at a unique solution for C1, C2, and C3. The system is consistent no matter what A, B, and C are. Hence, any polynomial from this space could be expressed as a linear combination of our three polynomials. Alternatively, again, you could just calculate the determinant of the coefficient matrix, find that it's not zero, and that would also tell us that this system is consistent no matter what a, b, and c are. Either way, we conclude that the three polynomials in question do indeed span this space. So they're linearly independent, they span the space, hence those three polynomials form a basis for the vector space of polynomials of degree at most two. In short, or you can just find the coefficient matrix, calculate the determinant. If it's non-zero, then yes, you've got a basis. Alternatively, you could perform Gauss-Jordan elimination, and if you get the identity, then you've got a basis. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my linear algebra course and linear algebra exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out. Lately, don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. 
stressed out, sweetie. I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you stressed.